All right, welcome back. This is Lance Vader, and I'm coming back to space for the complete idiot today. We are actually going to get into orbit, and um, I need to show you how to do that. Last time, we put it had plenty of fuel, but we made the mistake of not having or not turning uh, our craft, so we just went straight out into space and expected to get into orbit and you can't do that. We're going to use the swivel engine and this time where are they? Oh no I, I guess I just have the stack decoupler I don't have okay I'm going to use this stack decoupler actually What I'm going to do is I'm going to build a multi-stage rocket. So I've got this rocket. This little rocket here is going to be the, the actual craft itself. I'm going to remember to put a parachute on there because I'm not that dumb. And I'm going to put a little antenna on the back. It makes the craft look a tiny bit asymmetrical, but... Uh, that's actually not a big deal in this game. Um, yes, that will be a swivel engine. So, right now, you'll notice that um, the this decoupler is the first thing that's going to be activated. That's not good. That, that's not what we want. We want that engine down there to be the first thing that gets activated. And then we want this decoupler and that engine to activate at the same time. So we're going to stage those together. We're going to stage this one here. And we're also going to attach... No, not the big ones. We're just going to attach some of these little engines around the sides. Uh, and we're going to put in a thrust limiter so that they uh, so that they don't just burn up all at once and that they don't and so that they don't overheat. Uh, looks like this is actually not enough to get there. I have a, a little helper. This guy, the uh, Kerbal Engineer, I highly recommend, if you are playing this game, to get Kerbal Engineer. Because Kerbal Engineer is amazing. And um, with Kerbal Engineer, you can figure out, you can find out how much uh, Delta V you have. The Delta V is, is the change in velocity, how much change in velocity you can have. Um, so, jeez. You know what? For the orbital rocket, no, I'm going to change that. I'm going to put that away. Put that back. We're going to use some solid fuel boosters. Maybe four of those guys. Yeah. Now you'll also notice, you'll notice this guy has, we've got torque, uh, which is uh, the amount of twisting force we can put on our, our vehicle, uh, thrust, the amount of upward away from Kerbin force we, we have on the vehicle, uh, thrust to weight ratio, delta V, but this is supposed to be for a complete idiot, so I'm just going to be ignoring most of that um, uh, during this. You know, I'm just going to turn that off so it's not bothering you. All right, space for the complete idiot. Hopefully, this will be enough of a vehicle to get us there. All right. We're sending Bill. Oh, wait, 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 wait. They made a change, and not everybody can pilot the same. So we're going to put in a pilot. 
um, and um, save this vehicle. Sorry, save this vehicle as going to orbit. All right. Now, when you uh, get out there, it's very important to press T before you begin. That T engages the SAS, the Automatic Stability Assist System. And so we want to activate all of those engines. Um, and away we go! Yeah! that to be Ooh. all right we're gonna get to outer space we are gonna get to outer space because space starts at 70,000 feet. But it looks like we're not getting into orbit. That's we, we spent too much of our fuel going up and not enough of it going sideways. That's okay. That is perfectly... Okay. Okay, prograde. Boom. Hey, we're going to go pretty far. We are going to go pretty far on this suborbital journey. And then you'll notice that it looks like our it looks like the 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 point, the landing point is moving, doesn't it? Isn't that crazy? Why do you think that happens? Uh, I'll be revealing that next time. Go ahead and uh, mention it in the comments if you think you know. Uh, and uh, let's watch this thing. Oh, wait, no. We, we need to get a crew report. For no, no. We're in the upper atmosphere. I didn't get a crew report from space. No. No. I wanted a crew report from space. All right. So uh, tell me why you think that happens. And... Um, next time I'll reveal it why it is that our our ending point our landing point mysteriously moved while we were in flight this is re-entry and during re-entry a lot of times things will blow up because they get too hot Successful land? No. Oop. Why did that happen? Why did we blow up? Alright. I know why we blew up. I'll tell you next time. Go ahead and uh, comment in, in the video below if you think you know why we blew up. 
what went wrong, why this was a catastrophic failure. Poor Edbury. Edbury Kerman was killed. Who wants to be our next pilot? Um, so yeah, comment on, on the video if you uh, know what went wrong. Uh, we got a little closer to orbiting today, and um, uh, failure makes us stronger. This has been another episode of S Kerbal Space Program, Space for the Complete Idiot, and um, my name is Lance Vader. Thank you, and uh, try not to explode. <laughs>